decades after the Chernobyl nuclear crisis, a corner of the abandoned wasteland has been converted into something useful, the area's first solar power project. It's located around the former power station that caused one of the world's worst nuclear disasters. So the Chernobyl project for us is the project of social corporate responsibility. This is an example how we think as, as Ukrainians we must treat our homeland and how we should convert step by step the zone which suffered from a disaster back to 1986 to the another way of, of, of its utilization. We have many uh, solar, solar farms uh, in many countries, including Ukraine. The solar Chernobyl is our the smallest uh, PV plant, but at the same time is the most important probably. Uh, this area cannot be used by uh, humans uh, for next uh, several thousand years probably, and uh, we wanted to bring it back to life. The plant was built in 2018 and can generate up to one megawatt of energy. That's enough to power roughly 200 households. But there are plans for it to generate 150 megawatts, which would make it one of the largest solar farms in Ukraine. The power plant is being connected to the uh, national grid of Ukraine via the, the transmission point located at, at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. So this is actually the first and only in the world solar power plant which which being connected to the nuclear power plant. The government declares that they are helpful to green energy projects. The reality is, is, is quite different right now. A government incentive scheme called feed-in tariffs guarantees investors a fixed price for renewable energy fed into the power grid. But in August 2020, the Ukraine government announced cuts to these feed-in tariffs. This means the Chernobyl solar project and others will make less money than they were originally promised. Ukraine right now so, uh, is going through challenging times when our uh, government has introduced new uh, energy policy with regard to feed-in tariff. There are a lot of rumors about it, but we still believe that the government will take respective steps to protect the industry. We hope for the improving of the legislation. We already have the land here in Chernobyl rented for 50 years, as well as we have the technical conditions for the grid connection. So right now it depends on the legislation to make it possible to build another PV plants here. We are the only company in the world who executed direct private investment into the Chernobyl zone. And we, sh we have shown that by our own example that this land still can be utilized in the purpose of Ukrainian society. We break news on YouTube for YouTubers.